to the channel and welcome back to once again not a vlog because virus and I can't really vlog right now but it is still a video that I hope you enjoy so I promised a little while well first of all people were asking for a Lego City walkthrough video and I promised a while ago a Lego City walkthrough video and I filmed it and I edited it but then it failed to compile three times I re-edited it three times and it failed to like actually make it all three times finding out one of the files was corrupted but that file was the largest chunk of the video so I had to reshoot it so I had already edited it three times but now I would have to reshoot it then edit it again and I didn't want to so this video has been a little while now or this video has been promised for a little while now and not done for a little while but finally here it is the other thing is I go through the Lego City walkthrough and I'm like, oh, I'm planning on doing this here, and this here, and this here. And then at the end, after I edit it, I start working on those things. So that whenever the next video comes out, or the next LEGO video comes out, there's new stuff. But the only problem with that is, whenever you, whenever you start working on new stuff in LEGO, you kind of make a mess with spare pieces and whatnot. So the LEGO City became kind of a mess. And then... Um, because it was being worked on, and then I needed to film a Lego City walkthrough. So, especially that table back over there, it's uh, it's a little worse for wear because there's a lot going on right now. Um, but this table, this table, and that table, these two mostly, and then that table are pretty refined, and then that table is also really refined. The only thing that's not really refined is the connections to it. So you can see it just kind of jumps from like city to beach. Same sort of thing over here, it just jumps from like open field and stuff to a little empty area and then this. So I'm going to get some half base plates and continue that road into there. That's what this is marking, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do the walkthrough. We'll start here first and then go that way. First part is my, uh, my dog. She really likes to just sit under the table. Also. I'm kind of glad that it did get a little delayed because the upstairs, like the Lego room, was a wreck. But now the Lego room is cleaned up and the gaming part of the Lego room is also cleaned up. So props to me for cleaning all of this. All right, so on with the first table. This is the industrial area and it, it needs a lot of work. So right here, it really right now is trains and minifigures that have nowhere else to go. But soon it will change. Um, this kind of got set here, those things got set here. This is kind of where it's gonna be. This is like a three in one set, it's like a fighter. And this is a custom fighter type thing with vertical takeoff, obviously. And then a TIE fighter with a little sorting tray underneath it with, uh, you know, different minifigure stuff that I might need. Over here is the trains. So we have kind of flatbeds right here, those are all custom they need some more detail but they're okay for now this is not a custom car it's a modified car so it came in the Lone Ranger set I didn't really like it with like the turret on it so I just made it into a short flatbed and put some of these brick arms um, crates on it because I think they look really good then the box car thing that came with this train I have this train here and this train um, then there's a custom train over there and then the steam locomotive right there we'll get to that in a bit this is a custom car, um, I just kind of mashed a, like the back end of like a dump truck kind of thing with a rail car and got this. It's just kind of like a long car, I'm gonna put some bricks in there or something, make it look kind of good. Um, the back end opens up like that. We have this custom crane right here which I think looks pretty good. So it can kind of just lower, it's um, it can just lower the little grabber thing into this car right here and then turn it and you know do whatever it needs to so that's kind of neat sitting in between the tracks we also have this little thing right here um you know just if they ever need to just dump something off the car you can do that trash can will be integrated better there's just random stuff sitting on the these right now these are some cars 
that are in the works. You can see I just have some pieces, a bunch of Mandalorians right here. With nowhere to put them right now, but there will be. Um, this will be a full-size tank car, being two of these segments. So one will sit like that, and then the other will sit there. But I need to find um, the other one of these top pieces is right over there. And then I need to find this green bottom piece to finish that car. I also have some wheel pieces and some coupler pieces to make more train cars. And this is kind of just a blank slate train car. It's got some detail on the undercarriage, but it's just a flat top. So that needs more detail on there. If it's going to be a flat car, it like one of these, it needs more detail kind of like that one. But it could be something else. So yeah. This is the only real building and it's covered in lightsabers right now. but has like a recycling portion, there's also a rocket sitting on top of it, but we just have a small little building with a little smokestack, and then there's this little assembly here, kind of sitting next to it. Again, industrial things. We have trains, we have planes, we have spaceships, there will probably be a rocket port, um, factories, that all goes in this area. So over here, where all of these minifigures are, we have a bunch of classic space minifigures, and then pieces to make more. There's a red helmet, white helmet, blue helmet. There's no blue guys here, but if I find more of the pieces for that, um, again, like here's a classic space person here without its legs. So it's just waiting for me to find some yellow legs and he'll get added. Um, we have some more Mandalorians here. We have some custom people here. These custom people are all kind of work people. Um, I've been building these to kind of put minifigures in this area. We have some clone troopers, some battle droids, um, Imperial troops right here clone troops, you know, all sorts of, mostly Star Wars stuff here because it doesn't integrate in the city super well. Um, and then we have a bunch of pieces to make minifigures. So they're all kind of sitting here now, not in the bin where they belong because I'm working on kind of building them here and then just piling them up here and then doing what I want with them. Um, this ship will probably be moved, I don't know. So we'll have ships and planes and stuff kind of there in each of these little landing zones. Um, we also have some tactical dudes. But yeah, the uh, the rail line runs in here from the bridge and then the narrow gauge rail line, so this is six studs apart and four studs apart, the narrow gauge kind of just stops right here with its own little buffer there. It was going to go into the building like it was going to S turn into the building, but that didn't happen. This is the start-stop thing that came in the Lamborghini Speed Champions set. It came in that set. Um, I'm going to lift it up a little bit, and it's kind of going to be like the entry point into here. So it still has the lights on it that are functional. So I'm just going to turn it from like a racing start-stop thing. I'm going to get rid of these race flags. I'm going to lift it up a little bit, probably with some more of like these kind of um, like truss pieces. Just lift it up a little bit more so trains can actually fit under it. Because right now, this train, that train, and I think that don't actually fit under here. So that's gonna get modified to actually look pretty good. We just have a bunch of brick arms guns here, maybe some Lego guns in there. Um, again, four minifigures and whatnot. They're just kind of in this little Tupperware sitting here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the industrial area. Lots of potential here. You know, the plan is to have a big factory here, or if not a factory, a big space launch port with a giant rocket. Could look pretty cool. Um, lots of potential here. Um, it doesn't look great right now. It's a mess. Tons of stuff's going on. Uh, the trains will look great when it's done. There'll be factories and stuff. It should look super cool. But right now, it looks like a mess. So let's quickly move on from here. Moving across the bridge, which is just a simple beam bridge. Um, it has flexed a little bit. I am going to probably... You can see the bottom of it's kind of stupid. So I'm just going to probably run like a big long... Um, brick right down the middle just to kind of give it a backbone so these tracks on the bridge are actually filled in so you can't see the ties which I really like and here is also where these uh, rails for the narrow gauge switches from the dark bluish gray to light gray um, this is because when I was ordering these off of Bricklink uh, I accidentally got light gray when I meant to get dark gray so they're kind of here I think it looks okay I might switch it out in the future so it looks kind of like the other tracks because right here it's it's just different. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Here we have the station which is, it was a like normal station that came in a set and then I completely modified it and changed it to give it this big platform. Um, tons of minifigs here which 
Minifigs just bring the city to life, so this has become one of my favorite areas because of how many minifigs I can pack in here, and it doesn't look cramped. Like, if I put this many minifigs on a street, it looks cramped. But here, it looks nice. They look nice and good, just kind of in here like that. This is a custom passenger train. I had the old white passenger train and then the slightly newer red one. Um, both of the engines kind of got broken, so the middle cars stayed fine. So I have the red car at the back. Also, yes, this buffer is stupid. It's there functionally right now. It'll look good in the future. But we had this car and this car, and I built this custom train, which is red with the white front, but the white front has a red, like, racing stripe. So this whole train as a set actually looks super good. Here we have the steam locomotive from the Lone Ranger set. Um, when I went on my train trip across the country, um, I think one or two of the stations had a train, just like a steam train, just sitting on its own track. Train. Not actually running, obviously, but just sitting there to look good and remind you of the good old days. So that's what this is. It doesn't fit in over there at all. There's nowhere on the tracks for it. So I just put it here. It's like just kind of a a showpiece for the station. We also have the narrow gauge line right here with these custom passenger cars, and then I have this custom um, small steam locomotive right there, and then those little, this little narrow gauge train setup is not custom, that came in a mining set. This train right here is custom. So that looks pretty good. Um, this is the piece, you would take that back piece off to actually connect this to that and make them run together. But I think it looks way better when it has both of the decorative back bumpers on it. So this just sits here, really good looking area. So this is the park area. Um, there's a little coffee stand, uh, friends like drink beverage thing, uh, what's that called, vending machine. We have a popcorn machine with a guy handing out popcorn, a little like table, like market thing here, a little skating park, a lot of little tiny friend sets that were my sisters, but have now been integrated into this park area because it looks really good. And then we have this uh, fence that runs here and it keeps running this way. Like I said, there will be two half base plates here in green, and this uh, road will continue from here. So we have road, then it turns to path, then it opens up a little bit and curves, and it'll continue into a road into that road. We'll get to there later. We have an old uh, set. It's an older set. It's kind of nice because it's just like retro Lego with the old cars. Um, just an Exxon gas station, pretty cool. We have a modular building here, we have a friend's high school here, stuff on the streets, another modular building here, and a friend's house here. Um, my deal with my sister is, she's done with Lego, so her Legos are still in my city because they're placeholders and they, they look pretty good, but whenever I get something to replace these, they will be replaced with something that's not friends. Again, the street, you can see little Easter eggs everywhere. There's a Harry Potter person there, um, Chip and Dale there, Jar Jar's like older brother, I don't know. Tanker truck, actual Jar Jar. There's the uh, snitch right up here. We have this empty um, green grass plate here and those kind of get replaced with modular buildings um, as need be. But this one is at a slope. The road actually slopes. So this one may never actually be able to facilitate a modular building, but it's here. Also these roads, this is a T, or this is an X, this is an X, this is a T. Um, there's another X plate there, T plate, T plate, and now these are all straight plates. So I need to buy more straight road plates from Bricklink and replace this one, this one, and all of those, which will be done eventually. We have two custom buildings that don't look really good. They're nice and bright and colorful, which is kind of cool. This one is actually the tallest one in the city, so I do kind of like that with the little helipad and um, some other stuff. So that's kind of neat, but this will get torn down or this will get torn down whenever we get the next modular building. Continuing down the road, more things. Um, the first LEGO Speed Champions set. So I love the LEGO Speed Champions cars because they're modeled after real cars and if you can't tell by my channel, if you're only here for the LEGO stuff, cool, but I also love cars. So we have a Lamborghini Huracan Evo Super Trofeo here. Um, this is modeled after a real Huracan Evo Super Trofeo, which is super sick. 
just sits right there. That's the first Speed Champions car of many. This is another custom building that I actually really like. I probably won't get rid of it, but there are some holes in it. That's supposed to be white. That's all supposed to be white. That will be fixed eventually. Again, another friend set that will be replaced eventually, but it's a placeholder right now. We have a little statue in the corner. Moving on. There's people lining the streets along with cars in the streets, which is pretty cool. And the modular buildings. We have the diner here. We have the, like anniversary Lego modular building that's actually larger and it has a little plaza courtyard thing which is pretty cool we have a little James Bond thing going on here they have some brick arms guns you know little little hidden things everywhere um, at the end of this video there will be some b-roll you can see what characters you can find I mean you have the Mandalorian there Luke Skywalker there all sorts of cool characters from Star Wars characters to like DC characters or um, even Marvel characters, Harry Potter stuff, there's all sorts of stuff hidden in here, Minecraft stuff. Anyway, coming down this row, we have a friend set, which one thing I don't like about the friend sets is they're open in the back so that you can play in them, but this city is for show, so that looks really dumb. So I actually took a friend set that I didn't think looked too frenzy, like, yeah, it's bright and colorful, but it is a bakery, so it kind of makes sense, and I walled off the back, so... That sits right there, and I think it looks pretty good. There's also an empty plate here. That'll get something eventually. A simple little building here. Looks pretty bad. It was built a while ago. It'll be replaced. This building doesn't look that bad, but might be replaced in the future. This is the gem shop. I have all of my colored gems collected up in front, which is kind of cool. I do really like that just because of the gems right there. More modular buildings coming down, and then the corner modular building with the, uh, you know, movie theater. Then we have the police station here, along with just out to the side, we have a plate here with the police truck. And just over here on this big pad thing, we have the large police helicopter. There's the tiny one, which has this helipad here. There's the helipad over there that I talked about. I want to kind of put helipads throughout the city so that theoretically these places or these like uh, helicopters have other places to be um cars coming down you know ambulance just some random trucks and whatnot um the trucks that like come with police sets that belong to like the burglars actually look really good as just normal people cars because most of the cars lego sells are police cars or fire trucks or ambulances like they they are something they can't just be a normal car so those look great as just normal cars continuing we have a camaro right here another speed champions car this is the second one we've come across then we have a 1968 ford mustang looking beautiful lamborghini urus in verde last time that i uh, tried to pronounce that i got bashed in the comments so it's a lamborghini urus squadra corsa and then a McLaren Senna, which was my first Speed Champions car. We have a large, like, grocery store area here. Um, then we have this building, which was just my excuse to use a bunch of the blue um, window pieces. And then I put some of these uh, red pieces from the train on top because it looks pretty cool. More modular buildings with a restaurant and a bank. So I have two corner ones, and well, three. The other one's over there. That corner one actually has the ability to be driven into, so I like that theoretically, here, I'll go over there. A car can drive from there, here, and there. So it kind of links that to that in another way. I don't know, kind of interesting. Another corner build with the bank and police car. There's a little archway here that's super extra. Um, we have a Minecraft-like house here. Um, an open pad that'll get a building kind of like one of these eventually this pad might get one of those eventually um, We have another one of these and that's a piece of a friend set So we just have some different stuff here. Um, we'll probably put another one of these here Just kind of you know buildings everywhere um, If we don't build buildings here and here, it's probably because we're going to be linking the road up to this so this is one of the first beaches. Again, tons of Legos like in the water just because I'm working on, I was working on this ship, so I have Legos here, so excuse that mess. We have this beach. I really like working on the beaches because you can add in a lot of little details, which I just think looks super cool. So, little radio thing, little mountain with a little waterfall, which looks pretty cool. Um, and then there's just some greenery all over it. Um, there's two lifeguards, I think, 
well, there's one lifeguard, two people with surfboards, surfboards kind of everywhere. Um, we have this custom ship where I actually printed on a piece of paper like the generic Lego brick and then taped it to this as a sail, which is still one of my favorite things. And then another custom Lego ship with the sail rolled up, which looks pretty cool. And then just kind of like the uh, fort thing that came in pirate sets. Then we have this large ship, which again is getting worked on, so kind of don't mind that. Jet ski here, there's a little raft thing being attacked by an octopus, because why not? There's a boat that's, uh, I'm gonna add fire to this boat, like the little Lego fire pieces, um, because it's broken, and there's like an aqua knot thing trying to fix it. Seaplane here, we have a raft boat thing just filled up with um, gems, gold, food, whatever I could pack into these things. And then we have another little ship here, which again will probably be replaced. We have the docks here, which is some more people. Um, then we have small beaches here, that is really the big beach. Here we just have beaches on the coast. Um, greenery here to kind of transition from the sand to the open grass. There's a little thing here where she's selling, I don't know, a croissant to Jar Jar again. A um, bunch of bikes here. I'm gonna get more of these pieces to put in between to create a legit bike rack. Um, then we have the fence from over there that's continuing this way, and I also have this area fenced off too, which is kind of neat. Minecraft tree, Minecraft tree, because why not? Two larger custom trees, bunch of horses, velociraptors, Minecraft pig, Minecraft uh, cow, all sorts of stuff in there, um, along with some different people. Custom dude from the Revolutionary War, um, along with Harry Potter people, um, Star Wars people, all sorts of stuff. And we have this guy, who's just checking out a leaf with a chameleon, because why not? And then we have the pirate area, which looks pretty cool, not gonna lie, um, with the cannon back there and everything. And then I've never seen Peter Pan, but when I got him in one of those Disney packs, I was told that he fights pirates. So he is staring down at the pirates. And then we have a custom lighthouse here with some flags up top. It's kind of sitting on this mountain area, which has been blended pretty well, I'd say, um, into the sand and the grass. And then it's fairly simple from there. It just sits on top of that rock. Um, super cool. Um, a lot of friend sets make up this area here, which I actually think looks really good because I connected both of these friend sets to just make one giant um, like platform thing, which looks pretty sick. Um, this is one of those older three-in-one sets. We have Buzz, Woody, I, yeah. And then the little alien people just kind of sharing a beach house together, because why not? Um, ice cream place for friends with a little um, lighthouse. Um, another friend set, more friend sets. There's like a barn, a little horse thing, and then because there's all these animals, you need the vet clinic. Um, that should be it. That's kind of a, I say quick run through of everything. Um, didn't seem very quick but uh, at the same time does feel pretty quick for me because there's a lot of detail packed in here. So yeah, that is the city in its current state. I have a lot of plans for it. Um, now I'm just gonna run some cool music along with some B-roll. So I'm just gonna kind of take the camera up close down the streets. So hopefully you can, you know, slow the video down, find some stuff on your own, see what little hidden things you can find and whatnot. But that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, here's the rest of the video. Enjoy. Peace.